Hello, crafty cuties. I am going to get this camera set up. So just give me a sec real quick. You can definitely fast forward if you want. Um, I just wanna make sure you guys can see. I am just not used to filming on my phone. So that's probably gonna have to be as good as I can get it. I don't have a good tripod for my phone, but I think you guys can see what we're working with right here. And then of course you can see all my junk. <laughs> So good morning guys. Well, it might be afternoon for you. Hi Andrea or in Andrea. I never know. Hi Amy. Good morning guys. Good afternoon. Is the camera showing up correctly on your end? Is it completely taking up your screen horizontal kind of thing? Not sideways? Because yeah, that bothers me so bad. I've literally deleted videos off my channel before. Um, good. Hi Janet. Okay, good. So, I'm gonna wait just a moment before we get started. And, hi! Hi, Kathy! Good. So guys, I'm gonna show you how I do my cross stitch. Oh, thank you, Lindsay, for, for joining. I'm going to show how I do my cross stitch today on my junk journals. If you are watching this video on the replay, um, you know, you can fast forward a bit or something like that. <laughs> Hi, lady. Oh my gosh, Jessica. Oh, that's my best friend right there. Exciting. Okay, so, um, you know what? While I'm waiting for a moment for some people to show up, or I don't know, you know, if anyone else wants to show up, I'm gonna go over what I have prepped here. So, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I, when I'm doing the tutorial, I'm not really going to be able to watch the screen. So if someone jumps in and they're like, what's going on here? Maybe one of you can help me out and let them know that maybe I can't see the comments. And at the end, I'll definitely take questions and uh, things like that. Hopefully I will stay in, in your view here. So I have everything prepped because this is a pretty long process. So I wanted to have everything ready and I'm just showing how to do the cross stitch today. This is my personal junk journal that I'm using for memory keeping for May. I have my book here and I already punched the holes. Um, for a cross stitch, you can literally do as many signatures as you want and you can do as many holes as you want. Uh, I recommend starting out simple, which is what I'm going to show you today, but once you have it down, guys, you can play around with it and do as many holes as you can do different designs and things like that. So I have my hardcover here. This is actually just an old book that I altered. And uh, on the side here, you can kind of see those holes. I'm going to do three signatures, so I have my three rows here and then I'm going to do three stitches on each book and this is kind of like it's a pamphlet stitch basically so if you can see that there's one two three rows of three I accidentally punched a hole down here guys that was not supposed to be there because I thought I was putting the charm where it was supposed to go but that would have been the bottom so ignore that I have my three signatures that I'm going to be sewing into the book and um, I have them, I have taken out anything that's loose. Hi Amanda and hi Danielle. Uh, I took out anything that was loose, anything that I could accidentally sew into the book that wasn't supposed to be sewn in or anything that like could get in the way. So I had a bunch of journaling cards and um, pictures of my garden from previous year and um, you know anything that was loose basically. I did not decorate these pages, I just kept them plain because I decorate my junk journals as I go. Typically I would decorate the pages first and then sew them in, so I hope that's not confusing. So I, like I said, have my three signatures here and I punched holes inside here. Um, so you can see there's one, two, three. And if you are wondering how I get this to be lined up so that these holes match with my book, I have a little guide here, or whoops, I might have just ripped it. I don't know if you would call it a guide or whatever. Template, that's the word. And this might look confusing because you see more holes than uh, what we're doing. But I use this because um, 
it's just an easy template for me to have and then I can check out or then I can have different options for the different holes if that makes sense. So you can see that I have three rows here and basically what I did was I just used this template and I knew that I just wanted to use the middle holes and then the second from the top. So this is just a guide that I keep and I reuse this all the time because I know it's the size that I'm normally um, doing. If you want to know what size book this is, that's not really important, but I'll tell you here. And then I swear we'll jump into to the tutorial. So this is a five and a quarter by almost eight inches. It's a pretty small book, but it's a good size. Okay guys, so. I punched all of my holes with my awl, but you don't have to have one of these. You can always use a tack or something, you know, something that will punch through paper. And then, hi Mary or Marie. Oh, cool. Okay, I use wax thread. This is like wax cotton thread, I think. This can be pretty expensive, but I got this online at papersource.com, and this is a, that was a really good deal. It was $5 for this. Um, and other than that, I think we are ready to hop in. So I have my needle and it's threaded here. Um, this is just a regular needle and guys, I burned myself right here from coffee dyeing paper. So ignore that. But uh, this is just a needle that has kind of a big hole on here. I don't know what you call it. I don't know. I just looked at the needles and I picked one that I thought would work. <laughs> so nothing special there. Um, and we are just going to get started. I have, you want to keep in mind what order you want your signatures to go into. So I have them here and I like to start with the very last signature in our book. So I'm going to take my last signature and I have paper clips holding the different sides together here and we're just going to get started. Um, I also, I just estimate how much string I need here. Hi Judy! Um, so I usually measure the height of my book and I'll like times that by three. I don't know, it's just, it works for me. So I don't know, there must be a math to it, right? Okay guys, so here we go, getting started with the tutorial and I won't be able to really look at the screen. We can hope for the best and hope that I am in screen here or whatever it's called. <laughs> okay, so I am going to start with the middle hole here. And a lot of times these, these move around and uh, things aren't always lined up perfect. So you gotta try to, there we go. So I usually just start by putting it through that middle hole and then I'll come in my book here and find the last row because I'm doing the last signature and the middle hole. And once we get going, this signature will be more in the book, but this is just how I do it. I am not knotting this. I'm going to keep some string on the end here and I am going to take a little bit of washi tape and hold that down so that it doesn't get pulled through. We're going to tie that at the very end and this is going to help ensure that we can get a really tight, um, tight, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna wash you that in. And then what we wanna do is take our second signature and we are going to go ahead and place this. This is our middle signature. And so now we are out the middle hole and we are going to go back in the top hole of the second signature. We're going to start our cross formation this way. So you can see, I usually just get it started and then I'll open up the book and kind of find where that top hole is on the second signature. Once you get these sewn in a little bit more, um, they won't just be loose hanging around, if that makes sense. So I know this is hard to see, but I'll show you in just a sec here. So gonna go into the top hole of the second signature and I am at a really weird angle so bear with me here I'm just gonna go and I am all over the place when I'm doing this usually to be honest there we go okay okay so try to place these back where they need to be and you pull this through. 
There we go. Now we are going to go out the middle hole of our second signature because we're in that second signature and out the book. And make sure that I must not punch these holes very well. So I'm going to take my awl here and just kind of repunch and hope I don't punch through other things. <laughs> I do find that these holes need to be pretty, pretty punched through. Okay. There we go. So let's try that again. We're going to go out the second and make sure that we are going out the middle second hole here. And sometimes I'll check my work. Just kind of make sure I'm going out the right hole. This would probably have been a better tutorial to not do live, <laughs> but um, I can always film another one or whatever. This is just real life, right? Okay, so now that we're out here, we're going to finish the cross. And so we need to come up here like this. And sometimes if you're like, crap, what hole do I go in now? <laughs> oh boy. Anyways, uh, you, can, you can just look here before and just figure out where does that cross need to be? So we're gonna go in the first signature top hole, okay? And so I'm going to, this is kind of what I'll do. I'll start the needle and I'll open the book and go into the signature that I'm going into, this first one, and open up to the middle so that I can kind of guide that needle where it needs to go. Okay, so I'm gonna, I gotta get my face down here. And so I can see the hole there. And sometimes it's like this, sometimes it just doesn't wanna go through. So I'm gonna pull it all the way through here Whoops. And I'm just going to do it this way. <laughs> and this is okay to do the first few times, but once these are sewn in, you really have to be able to get that in. And that's why it's important to make sure that your holes are really um, good. Okay. So there we go. Now we're in the top hole. And now we need to go to the bottom hole here in our first signature out to the side here and I feel like I mean this probably looks pretty messy but this is really what it's going to look like when you're doing it yourself things are gonna be kinda loose and everything until you get to the very end okay so here we go and you'll wanna make sure that you pull things tight and that's pretty easy to do you just gotta make sure you know what you're pulling on. There we go. And it's also easier to tighten these up when things are a little bit better in place too. Okay, so I'm gonna pull that one there. Okay. I feel like I'm, I'm pulling on something I'm not supposed to be. There we go. Okay, got it. Okay, so now we're going to basically repeat that step and we are going to go into the second signature now and we're going to go back into that middle hole so you will definitely repeat some of the holes that you go into so I'm going to turn my book around like this and go into that middle signature and I want to make sure now that I am guiding that into the correct spot okay and I see that needle there you guys probably can't see it, but I'm going to guide it into the second hole. And, whoops. I see it there. There we go. And I just realized that some of the uh, twine here is loose. So that's okay, though. I can tighten that all up. Okay. So now we have that second cross started. And... We need to go out, let's see, the bottom hole now. And we're going to make our second cross. Okay, I'm gonna tighten things up here. There we go. There we go, okay. Let me go into this one real quick so I can tighten these. I don't wanna get too far with having things loose. Okay, I'm just kind of figuring out where I need to pull and Sorry guys. Okay. 
There. Got it. I promise. Okay. So now we are going to go out that bottom hole and there we go. And now you can probably see where we need to go. We need to go back into the middle hole of that first signature and that will complete our second cross and that will complete uh, sewing in your first two signatures. So I'm going to start that just like so. I'm going to turn it around like this and kind of open up my book here. I open up my signature to that middle and I'm going to kind of see where things are going here. And really, this does get better when you're actually doing it yourself, when you are at a place where you can move things around. You kind of just have to play with it. So I'm going to try that again here. And now that I'm doing this, I'm thinking I might make a better tutorial where I can uh, zoom into things <laughs> and show you guys a little bit better. But hopefully this will get you started if you're wanting to get started. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Get in there. All right, guys. Okay. Would y'all just get in there? <laughs> Okay, I'm going to hold this up to my face real quick, guys. Sorry, it's really hard for me to see at this angle, and I'm just trying to get that all lined up there. Okay. So, why won't you go in there? And it can get a little hard when you have a bunch of different sizes of papers and things. So, so I'm going to take a minute and look at the screen. I'll use your... Oh. Okay. Here we go. So now I'm just going to pull that through and there we go. So now we have completely sewn in two of our signatures and you have two crosses. And so remember, if you wanted to have more crosses, you would basically just punch more holes in your signatures and you would do the same thing. You would just work yourself down until you have all of the crosses complete. And um, it can get a little confusing when you have more than this amount of holes, so this is with three holes, but um, it is definitely possible. So I'm thinking that I can just go ahead and show you guys the last one if you want. Um, it's going to be the same thing and it's going to be a little trickier, but let's just at least go ahead and start it so you can see how we're going to have to sew through that middle signature now twice. So I'll show you how to tie it off. Okay, so to tie it off, you have your, I'm gonna trim, I'm actually going to leave a lot extra here. Um, I'm gonna take my washi tape off. This was that, whoopsies. This was that washi tape that was holding down. Ah, and I just ruined that paper. I'll just put a picture over it or something. Lindsay, I think this is from you, this music sheet. So I have my two ends of the string. You're gonna see that they end up in that same hole. I have one on the right side of this middle string that's going all the way down and I have one on the left you want to make sure that you have one on each side just like a pamphlet stitch and you're going to pull tight and tie and then you are done with this okay so I'm just gonna do one tie there and I like to keep my strings long in case I want to put something on them there we go so guys that's cool okay so I'm gonna go ahead if you want to stick around if you don't, I totally understand. Actually, I'm going to look at the screen for a minute and see if there are any questions while I am threading my needle. So feel free if you have any questions, um, well, let me know. I'll string this right now. So it's going to be about 85 today here in Portland, Oregon. And I'm inside filming videos. After this, I have some custom journals I have to do. What else? That's pretty much Oh, Lindsay from the 1930s, and I just pretty much <laughs> ruined it a little, but that's okay. You know, I can definitely put something over it. I shouldn't have put washi tape on it because it's a pretty delicate paper. <laughs> oh, nice, Danielle. It's nice and warm in Idaho. That's awesome. So um, I'm going to estimate how much thread I need. And again, I usually do about three times the size of my book here. 
sometimes I'll do like a little extra for good measure. I don't like to, I don't ever want to run out like while I'm in the middle. Now, if you do, you can definitely just tie off and I don't know. I guess it's never happened to me, but I would probably just have to tie it off and re-thread a, a new needle. So it's 45 degrees in Pennsylvania. I think that's what PA is, Pennsylvania. I am going to take my awl again, and I'm going to make sure that these holes are punched through really good. Um, rainy in Florida. <laughs> Thank the Lord. Because I don't feel like I uh, punched those last holes very good, and so it was a little hard to get things lined up just right. So I'm just going to do this, and I want to make sure that I'm going to sew this in the correct way because I've definitely sewn things in backwards, and that's not fun. Okay, so, so remember that the hole that you start sewing in is the hole that you want to end, and so we're going to start with the very last signature now, and I am going to start in that middle, just like we would with a pamphlet stitch. I don't know why my holes are not lining up because that just punched a new hole, but that's okay. Yeah, I agree. It's, it is better to have more thread because the only thing is I feel like it can get a little tangled and annoying, especially when you're doing the cross stitch, but it's fine. It's, it's okay to work with. You're loving the yellow. Thank you. I love this paper and I love this cover so much. So I'm just going to do the same thing, but uh, we're in here now and I'm going to start, so I just came out that middle signature, and I don't know, other people probably do this different. Maybe you just have your signature lined up to the book and that's how you sew through, but it doesn't work for, like that for me. So, um, you're from India. Oh, awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna go out that middle hole here, out to the outside, and pull it all, whoop, not all the way through, but most of the way through. I'm going to use a little bit of washi tape and try to be careful this time. People are mowing their lawn. It, uh, yes, you're talking about what my twine is. It is, it's waxed cotton thread, I believe, and I got it from Paper Source. Uh, when I was pricing these out, they were literally like 15 and $20 for a big roll like this, and I was like, no, no, no. So I kept looking, and uh, Paper Source, online you can get it, $5. Maybe that was a clearance price because that's really cheap and I can't remember how many yards you get on here, but it was a ton. So check out paper source. Okay guys, sorry on these live videos, you know, I do lots of talking. Okay, I went ahead and washi taped and I'm going to go into my middle signature now because we're going to start the cross. And so this is where it can get a little tricky because you can't move things around as much, but it's obviously possible. So I'm going to go in here, find my middle signature, and I'm going to open it up to the middle because that's where we are tying into. I think I just saw a comment from Danielle and I didn't see what it said. Sorry about that. Okay, here. So now I'm going to sew into, I don't know if I just said that wrong. I'm sewing into the top of the middle signature. And I'm going to just kind of hold this here. Oh, that was not a good idea. <laughs> wow, guys. Well, that one just fell out. Okay, so we're going to have to just pull that all the way through there. Okay, I'm going to pay attention to what I'm doing here now. Oh, boy. Okay, so we're going back out the middle signature here on this first. Oh, boy. Okay. I'm just going to pull that all the way through here. I don't even know how that happened. I was, like, looking at the screen. Okay. I'm just putting this back in, getting to where we just were. Okay. So, out the middle. Place our book back where it needs to be. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Now I'm going to do what I'm needing to do here. Okay, so now I'm going to go second signature, top hole. And I'm just going to kind of start that, but I'm going to open this up here. There we go. And you just kind of, you can kind of play around with it and see where that needle is going. And sometimes you can kind of peek through the top here, and you can see that too. It's kind of what you have to do sometimes here. And I probably am making this look a lot harder than it is, but I promise, guys, it's... It, I mean, it's work. It is, but it's possible. 
Okay. Where are ya? Okay, I'm gonna have to hold this really quick at a weird angle. <laughs> so I'm trying to get it in the top hole here on the second signature. I'm definitely going to redo a tutorial because I want to be able to show you. I mean, this is just real life, but I w it would be nicer for you guys to see close up, I would think. And I'm just having a hard time getting it in there. Okay. Sorry, guys. Okay, hello, where are you? Got it. Okay. Okay. Goodness. That was hard. Okay, so I'm going to pull tight here and I'm going to go out the middle hole now. And this, you do want to be careful about this because you really don't want to be poking a second hole on the outside. So try to make sure you are really going out the actual hole that you already have. And you can kind of see it if you pull things away. There we go. So you can see it's coming out there. I keep seeing the comments pop up, but I can't read them. Okay. All right, guys, I'm just trying to pull things tight here. There we go. I thought something was caught. There we go. There we go. Pull that all the way out. So now we're out here and now we're going to finish this first cross up here. So we're going to go into the top of our last signature. And I think maybe that's kind of where I'll stop because now we would just repeat everything again and hopefully you kind of got it down. Okay. So coming into this top hole, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to push it all the way through here. And, whoa, I just bumped you guys. Okay. And there we go. All right. So now I'm going to pull tight. <laughs> there we go. And things are getting caught up in here. There we go. Okay guys, so now we have our second cross and you can see that I need to tighten this up. But there you go. So you basically are going to repeat this now for your last one. So you would, on the inside of this last hole, you would go out the bottom hole here and start your cross formation once again so just like that so guys that is how I do the cross stitch and then I would go back into the second signature the middle signature the middle hole so there you go guys um, yeah that was kind of all over the place I know but you know it is definitely definitely kind of a lot of detailed work but I hope that you guys will practice I hope that was okay and like I said I'm definitely going to film a better tutorial for you guys when um when I can do close-ups and like just show you a little bit better because my phone it's it's just not the best I can't see what I'm filming and stuff like that but I hope that was okay um so now I'm looking at this screen so if you guys do have any questions um feel free and Danielle I have twice now I saw a comment pop up and I it went away so if you want if there was something that you wanted to ask me or maybe you were just chatting um, I'm looking at this screen now I know I was talking with you on Etsy about um, the garden journal so you are very welcome Darla thanks for being here and 
I hope that you guys are having a lovely day. Hopefully you're doing some crafting. Hopefully you're doing something fun. I know that I'm going to be doing lots of crafting today. I have to go to the post office to send some de-stash items. I woke up late today. <laughs> my son is at my mom's house. Otherwise, there's no way I would wake up late. Um, you know what, I'm gonna, oh. But yeah, I woke up late and that's no fun. You're working on a fabric junk journal. <laughs> Cool, fun. Uh, I've, I'm actually working on a fabric junk journal as well. It's like a floral type fabric one. So I'm pretty excited about that. I'm also working on a, another traveler's notebook, um, like a floral one right here. And this one's just gonna have lots of coffee dyed papers and lots of writing space in this one. You're working today, Will. There you go. So, yeah, I love this paper. I thought it was really pretty. I'm actually going to do a junk journal with this paper as well, but this will just be like a regular hardcover junk journal. This is going to be a traveler's notebook junk journal. And um, yeah, so this one right here, this is mine, like I said, and I am using this to um, journal about my garden and just anything that happens in May. I just that came off. <laughs> That's okay. Um, and yeah, I have lots of writing space in here. I actually already started some journaling in here about my garden. I have like a garden plan thing going on and I have to get started in my garden, but this is like the second sunny day we've had. So you can see here, I like drew what my backyard looked like and <laughs> I'm just planning out. These are my three garden beds and I'm planning out what's going in each one. I already have things planted from last year that came back, but um, yes, Danielle, I know that you want a garden one. Um, we were chatting on Etsy and I already made you a custom listing. So um, yeah, I was just waiting for you to purchase that. And once you do that, I will start your garden journal. And from what we talked about, it was a traveler's notebook garden journal. So anyways, I had replied to you. So just be sure to check that out because I'm planning out what I need to do this week and I have a couple custom orders so um, I actually just need to know if I need to start yours but I just need you to purchase that first so um, yeah guys okay well thanks for being here guys and thanks for being patient with me this is a little bit harder than I thought it was going to be but um, I know you guys are awesome and wonderful and great so thank you okay guys well I will see you in the next video I hope you have a lovely day Bye.